Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a chocolate breakfast smoothie. It's perfect when you just don't have time for a breakfast breakfast in the morning. I just woke up early and yeah, my voice sounds all weird because I'm still waking up but I feel like breakfast and I just feel like a smoothie so I thought I'd film it to share the deliciousness with you. And as always, I've written a blog post which I'll leave down below which will have this recipe as well as loads of adaptations so that you can make a smoothie to your tastes. And be sure to leave a like, subscribe for more videos, comment too, let me know if you give this lovely smoothie a try and what you think of it. So let me go through all of the ingredients I've got today, starting at the back here with protein powder. I'm not huge on having protein powder, I usually prefer to get protein from food, but sometimes like breakfast today, and I know today's going to be a bit of a crazy one, it just makes sense to start the day with protein powder. So I have got this lovely whole food nutrition one, which I'm going to use a nice scoop of, and it's chocolate flavored. So so there's chocolate in that and I'm going to add some cocoa powder to cacao powder to make it extra chocolatey and for additional protein and just to make it really creamy I'm going to pop in a little bit of almond butter you can use peanut butter instead any nut butter or you could just skip it and not have it in it just adds a bit of protein creaminess and just kind of rounds out the whole smoothie I am using this almond milk but you can really use any milk you like, whatever milk you have, and you could also mix up and put a bit of milk and a bit of cream if you want some creaminess. If you're following low carb and keto, go for unsweetened almond. This one has, I think, zero carbs in it. Carbohydrates, it says nil, sugars nil. So if you can find a almond milk like this and then you can add in some cream so it's got some creaminess and some high fats, then you could do that too. And also you could add in some MCT oil or coconut oil as well. If you've got experience with ingesting it, I don't agree with having it. I my, my You can do whatever you like, but my system doesn't agree with it. I get sore tummy. So, yeah, if you do want to include coconut oil or MCT oil, just, just start slow. And for a bit of fiber and extra nutrition, we're going to add a bit of chia seeds and just sweeten the whole thing, a bit of stevia too. So that kind of makes up the perfect breakfast smoothie, chocolate breakfast smoothie in my opinion. And I'm going to use my Nutribullet. I've got back over here. I love using my Nutribullet. So we're going to pop all the ingredients into the cup and then get blending. So I'm going to start by adding a cup of milk, a good heaped tablespoon of protein powder. You can just go for a scoop if your protein powder has got a scoop. Just pop in a half a scoop. A scoop just depends how much protein you want to allocate. And then I'll just keep a teaspoon handy and a one to two teaspoons of pretty much all the other ingredients. Just depends how you want to go for it. I've gone for a teaspoon of stevia. We'll do two teaspoons of chia seeds. I'm going to go for a teaspoon of the almond butter. It's nice and creamy. And about half a tablespoon of cocoa powder. This will be nice and chocolatey. We've got everything in now. I'm just going to pop the lid on and we'll pop it on to blend. Okay, just pop it on to blend now. There you go, it's done and I'll just pour it out into a glass. Oh, open the lid, it smells amazing, so chocolatey. What a wonderful way to have chocolate for breakfast and it's just the perfect smoothie. But that is the video for today for this lovely chocolate breakfast smoothie. I hope you'll give it a try and enjoy it as much as I do. And remember to check down below for the link to the blog post which will have the full recipe and step-by-step -step instructions too as well as loads of variations so you can adapt this smoothie to your tastes and dietary requirements. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe for more videos, comment too, let me know if you give this smoothie a try and what you think of it. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again soon. Bye.